Hi Virgo, welcome to my third channel, my Virgo only channel. My name is Chelsea and it's reading for those of you currently in separation. We're going to find out your person's feelings for you right now. Today is the 6th of June 2024. Time here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia is 6.29 a.m. And Virgo, I'm giving away a free personal reading once a week for a lucky winner. To enter, hit like, subscribe, and comment below. I love Virgo. If you have commented before, you can do it again. It will increase your chance in winning. And winners will be announced on the community page weekly. All right, Virgo, let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please uh, please show me for those Virgos currently in separation. How does the person feel about Virgo right now? Virgo, please bear in mind that uh, roles can be reversed between you and your person. Thanks for being here, Virgo. I've been away for six days. <laughs> I missed you guys so much. Not a cups. If you wonder your person currently in separation right now, if they still love you, if they still if they still care about you, the answer is yes. Okay, because the not a cups. Is the night is the night of love and he's in an upright position and we've got the King of Cups here of verse. However, they are feeling very emotionally unstable right now. They may have been crying, feeling really sad, and Knight of Wands really hurt. But th this could also mean that Virgo, your person actually wants to express to you how he or she feels. Is there's no gender here, okay? But, but they're afraid to tell you, they're afraid to tell you, and six of wands, that's due to their pride, right? They don't want to feel like they've lost in this game, especially if this is somebody who likes to play games or manipulative. But, you know, it could just mean their ego or their pride. Deep down, they're just really hurt, okay? And we've got the Four Swords in love first. They've been thinking a lot about you <clears throat> and very restless. I also see them not um, not being able to sleep. This is very, this energy where, Virgo, they feel like I don't want to do anything right now. But I should be doing something about it. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Three of Wands here is in reverse. They feel like you have turned your back on them. And if they were to express how they feel for you, they feel like maybe you would just not hear them out as well, Two of Swords. Or that you might block them or you might ignore them. The Two of Swords is them right now feeling like, I just don't want to do anything. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to make a decision. I just want to be left alone. Okay, Virgo. But them being alone in their own thoughts is actually hurting them more, making them feel even more stressed. Not a sort of a verse, right? Overwhelmed with thoughts of you, but could also be analyzing what had happened, analyzing messages, text messages, everything. You could be analyzing in their head, right? From the beginning to the end, what happened, what, what was being said, what was being done. Ace of Wands here is in one verse. Yeah, they feel like this connection didn't take off. It may have started like strong or full of chemistry or attraction. But then now, you know what I feel like, Virgo, really? It's your person currently in separation right now. They feel uninspired. They feel unmotivated or demotivated. They feel like they can't do anything. They don't want to do anything. Like, for example, if they have like a certain routine during the day, whether it's them going to the gym or going to work or whatever they do, I feel like they've been kind of like taking a break from it. Um, I feel like they just feel really demotivated, again, uninspired, doesn't feel alive because this is like a supposed to be a very lively card if it was to be in an upright position. They don't feel alive. They don't feel like 
they kind of feel dead inside. That's what I'm seeing here, dead and hurt. But Six of Wands, again, this is them, you know, with their pride. I don't think they want you to see them <clears throat> being weak or feeling terrible. But the Six of Wands could also mean that they would like to maybe one day get your attention or fight for you because this person actually came back from a battlefield to sorts but they don't know if they should do it now or later or if they should should do it at all and the lovers here is in reverse another card that's pointing towards a separation let's see more for go they may have also been indulging in whatever that temporarily um, makes them feel better okay that could temporarily make them feel better um, not a cups is you know indulging they could be indulging in watching a lot of netflix or indulging in drinking a lot of alcohol or smoking a lot it could be anything okay and we've got the king of swords for some reason i feel like this is someone with a pretty strong character i feel virgo this is why, and the King of Swords is somebody very disciplined, uh, methodical, somebody who plans, somebody who strategizes. I feel like Virgo, they may feel like, okay, now I might have to strategize. I need to plan. I'm pretty sure I'll get over Virgo if I do this, this, and that. Or I'm pretty sure that I'll get Virgo's attention if I was to do this, this, and that in case they want to reconcile, okay? Um, your person could be a, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, could be Gemini, could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Ace of Swords. They feel like you're serious about cutting them off or, um, or if it's vice versa, they could be feeling like, I want Virgo to think that I am serious in cutting her or him off okay now the queen of swords is here for most of you it's you but for some of you it's them but the queen of swords Libra Gemini Chris energy but I do read you guys know already you've been here before I always read queen of swords as a Virgo but um hmm. Virgo they feel like you're serious okay if this is you they feel like you're serious you've set your boundaries you don't want them to cross it you are no nonsense, no BS. It could be them, especially if you, you're the one who cut them off. Virgo, they may feel like, okay, Virgo is definitely serious about cutting me off. She's not playing or he's not playing, right? So no wands in reverse. They feel like you've set your boundaries and you no longer are really fighting to maintain this connection or fix this connection or to stay in this connection. Three of Pentacles. So there's a king and a queen here, both in upright position. So they may be feeling like, okay, if we were to talk about this, if we were to discuss, can this be, can we mend, can, can we mend this connection? Can this connection be fixed, right? Hmm. I want to pull out some of these romance angels here for a Let's see. More Virgo. They also feel like you think they are like selfish or narcissistic, self centered. I guess it's the same thing self centered and selfish. Children. Love life is being affected by children. For some of you, yeah, that could be the reason or somebody acting childishly or immaturely. Pay attention to the red flags. <clears throat> Virgo, maybe this is somebody you've seen some red flags and you decided that's it. I don't want this anymore. Or it could be them. Again, it could go vice versa, but it could also be space of saying, hey, pay attention to the red flags. Um, because some for some reason this red flex here makes me feel like it's it could be the six of wands Virgo your person may feel like I'm going to you know because red is very attractive like when you look at red compared to other colors usually the red um, 
catch your attention first, right? So it makes me feel like maybe your person will be feeling like they want to get your attention later on. They want to do something to get your attention. We've got wedding. The situation involves marriage. For some of you, the separation could be because of marriage, okay? Whether you, you marry, you're married or they're married, the party situation, or somebody doesn't want to continue with the connection unless the connection is being taken to the next level. Okay, and release your ex. Yeah, this is definitely your ex, right? So it's be saying the time has come to clear your energy. Perhaps this is somebody whom has taken up a lot of your time, your energy, or that it's just not worth your time, your energy right now to even make any effort, okay? Um, basically, it says like to leave it be, leave them be, let them think think about things, let them decide what they want to do later, if they want to reconcile or not, if they want to talk to you or not. You've you've already said what you needed to say, and it's up to them now. For those of you Virgos, if you are interested in reconciling, um, and I always say that, you know, like love, love takes two hands to clap, you know, it's the most, it's a very tricky thing. You can't, you can't make somebody love you. You can't make somebody act a certain way. So this actually makes me feel like Virgo is basically saying to just leave it be. If you want a reconciliation or if you want this person to change or to choose you, whatever the case it could be, let them figure it out themselves. If they come back around and if they were to give you an offer that is good enough, it's up to you if you want to accept it or not. Okay, so honeymoon let your friends help you i feel like they may have been talking to their friends or somebody they maybe could trust about you honeymoon they may also you know this is why i feel like the honeymoon is the ones that four sorts of moments they could be feeling like i need a break a break from work or a break to go on a holiday or a vacation go go to the beach i need some time um to heal or I need some time to think over things. I feel like Virgo, you, you know, your person loves you. They do care about you, right? The Knight of Cups, I do see them feeling like also wishing that you would give them more attention or six of wands. The thing is, Virgo, I feel like they lost in this game, but then this is somebody, Virgo, who doesn't want to seem, again, weak or doesn't want to be looked upon as a loser, failure. I see them just being somebody really like self-centered, again, pretty narcissistic, okay? So I feel like Virgo, your person could be feeling right now very demotivated, unmotivated or demotivated. I'm not sure which one is right. Is it unmotivated or demotivated? But um, whatever it is, Virgo, they, they're hurt. And I do sense them also thinking about maybe we'd like to fix things with you, but they don't know how. They're not sure if they should or shouldn't. I also see them, again, taking a break from things that they would normally do on a daily basis and kind of like um, needing some time to be alone and indulging in whatever that could temporarily fix them or how they feel just to make them feel like better slightly better all right Virgo this is your reading thank you for being here I hope you resonated I hope it serves you well don't forget to hit like share and subscribe subscribe anyways if you haven't yet if you've been here before or if this reading serves you well <clears throat> and sorry about my voice you got, you guys know i've been i've been sick and i'm still like uh takes me a while to recover <clears throat> like completely these are just the remnant of me just being sick a couple of times um last month or this month but anyways virgo and don't forget to also subscribe to my main channel chelsea love tarot and Chelsea Vlogs is my travel channel. Subscribe to them. Later on, I might go live on my main channel. So yeah, make sure you subscribe to it and hit on the bell notification button so you'll be notified every time I post your videos. Take care, Virgo. Love you. Bye.